This video will illustrate the dipping technique and some important elements that will make dips successful. We have used poinsettia cuttings here, but the same principles apply to cuttings of other plant species. Pests hitchhike on plant materials that are shipped around the world. It is safe to assume that incoming material will be infested with one or more pests, like thrips, whiteflies, or spider mites, which, more often than not, will be resistant to a wide range of products. Starting a crop with high pest numbers limits growers' pest control options. One technique that allows growers to start clean is cutting dips. For this, cuttings are immersed in low-risk products such as insecticidal soap, mineral oil, or botanagard, which will kill a large proportion of the pests hiding on the cuttings. The advantage of using biopesticides is that they have no or short residual activity and are highly compatible with a biocontrol program. Although all these products are considered low risk, be sure to use appropriate personal protective equipment when preparing and performing the dips. Dip rates are often lower than spray rates. Always test a small batch of cuttings for phytotoxicity first. Make sure the dipping tank is clean. Fill the tank with clean water and mix in the products. Here we used Copa insecticidal soap and Botanagard wettable powder. Mix the dip thoroughly. Spread the cuttings loosely in a mesh tray. Cover the cuttings with a second tray. Immerse the trays completely in the dip suspension. Gently move the trays around in the dip for at least 5 to 10 seconds. If you've done it right, all cuttings will be wet on both the upper and lower leaf surfaces. Do not pack cuttings too tight and do not compress the cuttings while dipping. Pests need to be contacted by the dip for products to be effective. There should be no dry areas after dipping. Many products tend to settle on the bottom of the tank. It is important to stir the dip frequently to keep the products in suspension. Prepare a new dip regularly to avoid potential accumulation of plant pathogens. Do not keep the dip suspension overnight and use the following day. Disinfect and rinse the dipping tank and equipment before a new dip is prepared. The risks of disease transfer using this technique are low, especially if you follow sanitation practices outlined earlier. Following dipping, cuttings are stuck as usual.